right guys, before we dive into this, this room morning routine video is going to be a little different than you're used to because I have two different morning routines. I have a morning routine for when I don't work out and a morning routine for when I do work out and they're pretty different. So I'm going to give you two morning routines in this video. So when I don't work out, let's start with that morning routine. So I wake up at about 5.15, not about 5.15, I wake up at 5.15. I then go downstairs, I will pour myself some coffee, and I usually try to sit down for just like 15 minutes with my dog Theo on the couch drinking my coffee. I try not to look at my phone, but let's be honest, I'm not perfect, and sometimes, usually, I do at least try not to get into emails. After the 15 minutes, I will go downstairs and I will meditate. So I use the Calm app for meditating. I do 15 minutes under the less guided and it really just kind of has rain sounds as you're doing it. But when I was filming this, this day was really hard for me to meditate, but I know that those days are the days that I need it the most. I do my meditation and then I do my journaling. So you guys know I've talked about journaling before. I'm a huge, huge, huge advocate of journaling. It really helps me to sort out my emotions, my thoughts, and just kind of get ready for the day and really understand where I'm at. What am I feeling? Am I having an anxious day? All of those sorts of things. I do my journaling and then that's when I dive into starting to work. So usually I start with emails, just see if there's anything urgent in there. Then I'll start with any projects that I have for the day. I do a little bit of work, maybe like 20 minutes so that I get hungry. And by this time, it's usually a little bit before 7 a.m. So went upstairs, grab a snack and guys, having like a fruit yogurt, putting peanut butter in it. It's like a PB&J yogurt, so, so delicious. So this is kind of like my morning snack. And then I will come back downstairs and have that and do some more work. And always, anytime I have peanut butter, I have to give some to my dog, Theo. So obviously he has some as well. All right, guys, at this point in my morning, I will either, if I'm feeling like I want like a bigger breakfast now, this is like when I typically will eat like an actual breakfast that was just a snack. I will either go do that or if I'm feeling like I need some movement in the morning, I will hop on my trampoline. I got one of those mini rebounder trampolines. You've seen me post about it on Instagram a lot. I will hop on that. Here are five reasons to move your body that have nothing to do with changing it. Stress and anxiety relief, strong bones and muscles, cardiovascular endurance, heightens body appreciation, and it is fun. I would say I do that like maybe 50% of the time, maybe not, just if I need a little bit of movement. That's pretty much my morning routine for when I don't work out. So now let's see my morning routine when I do work out. All right, guys, now for my gym day. So I get up at 4.38 in the morning. Guys, I love my weighted gravity eye mask. Totally not sponsored, just love it. Obviously, I have to get up, get changed, let Theo out, get coffee. All of those are very, very essential things. Then I gather all my stuff and we head to the gym. We live like 10, 15 minutes away from the gym. I usually go with my husband in the morning. And when we get there, obviously we have to take our temperatures, make sure that we haven't had contact with anyone who's been sick because of, I mean, the times that we're in. I would say 50% of the time I will do a workout class and 50% of the time I will just work out on my own, whether that's running or lifting weights. I like to do both of them. We just started having workout classes where we're at now and it's been fabulous. For workout classes, I love Les Mills Body Pump. It is one of my favorites. It's like a barbell strength class. It's so much fun. Then we come home, obviously I get myself showered, ready for the day, and then I head down to my office and start the rest of the day. 
All right, guys, just showered. Magic happened. Ready to tackle the day. So went to the gym this morning. When I come home from the gym, I'm usually, I kind of like have a snack again. I'm not necessarily like super hungry. So I use some gentle nutrition here. So I like these built bars. They're delicious. <sighs> to be honest with you guys, I don't love the, how they say zero guilt on this. I don't necessarily love their message. And I struggle with this, to be honest with you. But I really like the bars. And again, gentle nutrition here using some, I just worked my body. My body could use some protein. That's gonna definitely help with that muscle recovery. So there is some of that like nutrition knowledge in there. And I just really like these. So having one of these. This is the coconut one. I'll show you guys inside. It's actually like an almond joy. Like it's, you saw it's kind of like nougaty ish on the inside. I shouldn't be talking in my mouthful. Not enough coffee today. One other thing I want to talk about with my morning routine is that when I do work out in the morning, I don't usually eat anything before. And that's just personal preference to me. A lot of people ask me like, well, should I like this morning got up at 438? I like wasn't hungry at that point. This is what I say to people when they ask me this. Ask yourself, would I like feel tanked or feel hungry in the middle of the workout? Would I be fine to finish it? And you might not know this at first, but the more that you start to listen to your body, the more that you can tell. When I get up that early on the week, days I don't have anything to eat in the morning because I'm just not hungry however if I'm work out on the weekends and it's more like a seven o'clock or an eight o'clock workout like I need something before then because I know that I won't be able to make it through and get a good workout and enjoy it if I don't so that's kind of personal preference to me but definitely giving some gentle nutrition here having some party bar and I'll have a bigger breakfast later just what's feeling good also, I get asked a lot, why do I wake up so early? I'm just a morning person, guys. I feel like I get, I'm more creative in the morning. I'm very productive in the morning, so I use, I maximize that time. That's really why. All right, guys, that's really my two morning routines that I have. I'll do typically the one that if I don't work out, it's pretty much the same things on the weekends, to be honest, except a little later. That's it. If you guys like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, little bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded, and let me know in the comments what you do for your morning routine. Give me new ideas. I'm all about building morning routines. So like these didn't just come out of nowhere. Like I, I built up to them. So I started with journaling, then added the meditation and kind of like built off of that. So that's how I'd recommend going. But I've talked to your guys' ear enough. I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.